If you are an amateur gardener like myself, you have already prepared the soil, planted your seeds or tender plants, and now you are beginning to control the weeds that are appearing in your garden. Your task now is to provide the necessary nutrients that will allow your plants to grow and produce a crop. In this devotional today, the fourth in the series, Breaking Up the Fallow Ground, I am talking about feeding the seedlings. That is, nourishing the garden of your heart so that it grows and produces the fruit of the Holy Spirit. It is common knowledge that what we consume directly affects the health and working of our bodies. Unfortunately, we are not always as careful with what we feed our minds and our souls. Just as tender plants require the right nutrients to make them grow healthy and strong, so our hearts, soul, and mind require the right nourishment to make them fruitful. As you know, God is the ultimate gardener, and He is the one that makes things grow. In 1 Corinthians 3.7 we read, so neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who makes things grow. So absolutely, only the Holy Spirit can transform us, but we can cooperate with his work by feeding our minds with truth. So let us ask God to show us where our thinking might be out of line with his truth, and so renew our minds and transform our spiritual health. How do we do that? Well, in Romans 12, 2, we are told, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. God's word tells us, to think on things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. Philippians 4.8 So what we think about does matter. What our culture considers good, moral, and acceptable is a far cry from the truth of God's word. The Bible shows time and time again that there is a direct correlation between the way we think and our spiritual well-being. So how can we start applying these spiritual nutrients into our hearts, souls, and minds in order that they may become renewed and start producing the fruit of righteousness? Well, we can study the Bible carefully. We can meditate on Scripture. We can participate in the ministry of a church, we can join a small group that studies the Bible. Jesus says in John 15, I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it will produce even more. He goes on to say, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So let us do our part in providing the environment necessary for growth and so allow the Holy Spirit to produce his fruit of righteousness in our lives. May the Lord bless you.